YouTube. Hey man, today is the day. Today is the day that I'm gonna unreveal or reveal my new bike that I just recently got. I'm excited to bring it to you guys. Um, if anyone has any um, really good information or tips or hints about this bike that I need to know about, definitely let me know. But without further ado, let me introduce you guys to the new ride. Two thousand and nineteen specialized epic alloy. So this is it, guys. This is the new ride. Very excited about it. Um, just a little bit of information about it. It's a specialized epic two thousand and nineteen aluminum frame. Could not afford the carbon, but hey, um, it's a start. You know what I'm saying? It is a 29er. Um, let's see, it has a SRAM uh, GX derailleur, a XG cassette, SRAM GX shifters. It's an 11 speed, one by system, one by drive train. Um, it has SRAM level TL hydraulic brakes. Uh, and of course, it has the Brain 2.0 technology in it, which is this bad boy right here. This is pretty much the meat and potatoes of the actual bike. Um, crank set, looking at a race face uh, effect 6000 series. Um, shocks, uh, you have a rear shock and the back is a rock shocks. Um, and then in the fork you also have uh, your rock shocks as well. And so, um, yeah, as far as the, the bike goes, man, it's pretty damn awesome. I haven't even ridden this thing yet because I'm waiting to do a couple of things on it. Um, I'm actually I'm going to put a dropper post on it and some new pedals, of course. And other than that, man, that's about all I'm going to do with this particular bike. Everything else I'm already good with. The tires, you have the uh, fast track tires, which I hear are pretty decent, so I'll see how those feel. But as of right now, the only thing I'm gonna do to this bike is going to be the dropper post and the pedals. Um, and that's it, man. Other than that, that's pretty much all that I'm gonna do with this thing. I'm super hyped, super excited. Um, and uh, cannot wait to hit the trails on this thing. Now this is a cross country uh, mountain bike. And a little bit about it. Um, that I want people to kind of understand is that when I went in to actually purchase this bike, I um, was looking at a couple of others. Uh, the Stump Jumper. And I was looking at a couple of Giants as well, but none of those bikes were on sale. I got this bike for $800 off the MSRP. Even though I did have to finance it, it still is almost $1,000 less than what it actually is being sold for. It was the last one in stock. It comes in two different colorways. Um, I didn't necessarily want the red and black, but actually it's not black. This is a charcoal and red. But um, the blue one that they have wasn't in stock. They only had a small in that size. So this was the last large. So for $800 off, I was like, yeah, I'll take it. So yeah, this is it, man. This is the new ride. This is what you're gonna see me on a lot from this point on. Let me talk a little bit about why I went with the Specialized Epic, because honestly, when I originally looked at bikes, my top three bikes, this wasn't even in my top three. So I gotta do another special shout out to a guy I've never met, but he's always commenting on my videos and you know what he's always giving good information and I can tell he's legit because of how how he describes things and how he kind of goes into details I know he knows what he's talking about and Lawrence that's you man hey I know we haven't met but we're going to meet it's, it, 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 I, at some point in time we're going to end up meeting and hit a trail together but um yeah I, I appreciate you for bringing this to my attention Lawrence um, I didn't know anything about a specialized epic again because I'm still new to the sport But the fact that you brought that up and the fact that you actually 
still show love to the more cheaper entry level bikes like the Colorado and the Aggressor and all of that lets me know that um, that you're really down to earth, you're humble and uh, I just really listened to your advice and did the research myself and went to the shop, talked to the, the people at the bike shop and uh, and yeah man, I'm, I really appreciate you uh, put me up on the Epic. I also want to shout out um, uh, Jimmy um, who uh, works at the actual bike shop at Orange Cycle here in Orlando. I want to shout out to Orange Cycle as well. David, the owner, who's and, and uh, David, the owner. I think Garrett is uh, one of the mechanics there, and Jimmy, who actually helped sell me the bike. Let me tell you something, man. You know you got good customer service when someone tells you, "Hey, um, you don't have to buy the bike right now. Take a couple of days, think about it. You know, and come back." I mean, honestly, they could have lost me as a customer. I could have went to another shop if I would have had another three days to think about it. But the fact that they were going to allow me to basically, you know, walk out of there without pressuring me at all, giving me more time to really think, and that really meant a lot to me as well. So shout out to Orange Cycle. Um, I've had other good experiences with them um, on the Cannondale Catalyst that I had and from just buying accessories out of there. Everyone is always courteous. Everyone's always greet, greet you at the door. They'll make time for you and try to get everything done if you need work done the same day that you do walk-in. I mean, they do walk-ins. And so, yeah, it's just a really cool shop. And I want to shout out all you guys at Orange Cycle. Um, this is like a dream bike, you know what I mean, for a lot of people. And, uh, you know, it, it, it it's just really cool um, after this whole year of learning and experimenting with things myself and then finally getting up to this point where I have a full suspension bike and one of the greatest full suspension bikes is really awesome. Um, so with that being said, my choices were actually three bikes before this one. I was looking at the Giant Trance 3, a 2020, a Giant Stance 3, 2020, and uh, a year or two old uh, specialized stump jumper. So here's the thing that I realized. When it comes to the stump jumper, I actually took that on a little ride at Orange Cycle for a test ride, and it felt very much like my Colorado, except it just had, you know, a suspension on it. Um, to me, I really don't need the suspension on that type of bike. The thing is, the Colorado is fun to me. Like that's why I, I upgraded the the Maxxis tires on that. Um, that thing is a beast; it can go where everything. It's slow, but you know, and, and it's not as cool looking as the stump jumper, but. For two thousand dollars, um, I just didn't see on um, buying a bike that's very similar to what the Nashiki can already do. Even though it's lighter, even though it looks cooler, uh, the colorway is really nice on the 2020. But it just, it just, it wouldn't be. Um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Um, it wouldn't be reasonable to have two of the very similar bikes. So I'll leave the Nashiki for all of that. So the Stump Jumper was crossed off my list. The Giants. I was really interested in the trance was the one that I really was getting ready to go for before I even before Lawrence even put me on to the to the epic but here's the problem with the Giants one they weren't on sale they were full price two no one had the colorway that I wanted three there's no real giant dealers in this area I mean there are bike shops that sell them but none of them had the, the stance uh, there were a couple of trances in there a uh, couple of shops but when I got on that bike the suspension on that one um, is a lot more I guess like squishy you know it is full suspension and you can definitely feel the squishiness in it and it didn't feel like I thought it was going to feel so I'm glad I test test rode it but um, not saying that it's a bad bike at all it maybe just wasn't tuned to my specifications which they didn't tune it you know, or adjust the sag according to my height or anything. But just my first initial ride on it just wasn't um, what I thought it was. But I still like the bike, don't get me wrong. But then again, it wasn't on sale either. So as I started doing research about the Epic and realized that the brain technology on there um, and the rear shock and how it actually adjusts to the terrain that you're riding on, I thought was really cool. And it's a cross country bike. And there are trails in Florida that have you know, straightaways or, or some long um, runways where you basically just, just you know, on gravel, on, on dirt, 
but you're just going straight. It's not, you know, it doesn't have to be necessarily, it's more about distance, I guess you can say, than technical trails or jumps and, and, and rocks and all of that stuff on there. So it would be to have a, a different, nice to have a different type of bike than, let's say, the Stump Jumper or the Colorado's concerned. So that's why that kind of put it over the edge as well. Plus it being $1,000 off, plus it being just a very good bike um, were all things that I uh, took into play when I actually bought this bike. So I'm really, really hyped and excited about it. Um, I still want to wait until I get the pedals put on. I got some crank boots I'm going to put on and I'm going to put on the, uh, the dropper post. And then probably the next video you see me is going to be on that bike. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm hyped, man. I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really excited about it. Um, I'm gonna tell you this as well. I'm gonna shout out two other places that I normally buy my bike parts from. Shout out to Backcountry and Worldwide Cycling. I always say that word wrong, Cycling. Um, Worldwide Cycling, I've been buying parts from them for a long time. The cool thing about that website, and I'll put it down in the link below, is that those guys always send you a coupon after every order and um, they're great with returns if something doesn't fit or something's not right they don't hassle you or, or try to you know get over on you saying that it's used or you open it or whatever the case so I highly recommend them and I just started buying some certain parts that worldwide cycling doesn't sell at um, backcountry oh my god like they're so their customer service is amazing as well and so i'm going to put their link at the bottom in the link below as well those are my two top places i recommend you buying um parts or accessories from um backcountry normally if you buy from them they have a 20 percent coupon for your first purchase so buy something big so for example the dropper post that i bought is an expensive item so i use the 20 percent off on that um so if you're buying your first expensive accessory like tires I would just try to rack up and buy everything at one time. Handlebars, stem, dropper posts, pedals, whatever. Buy it all at once, use your 20% off coupon, and uh, that'll help save you a lot of money as well with Backcountry. And then Worldwide Cycling, they're the same way. They'll keep sending you coupons as well, and they work with you, but they're really great with returns. And their customer service is great as well, so really cool guys. Other than that, man, um, I'm happy, man. Like I'm ready to get on the bike today, but I want to wait until I get everything on it. I wanted to show you guys how it looks stock, how I bought it exactly from the store. And then I'll do the next video with the new dropper post on it and the pedals on it and everything else I'm going to put on it, So, which isn't much. So anyway, hey, it's been a long year. It's been a learning experience. Sorry about the noise. Um, it's been a long year. It's been a learning experience, but... I don't regret anything that I've done. I don't regret any bike that I've bought. I don't regret any bike that I've sold. Um, it's just the next phase in the in the sport. And for everyone out there that's that's looking to upgrade, that's looking to get there or one of their dream bikes, um, it'll come, man. It, it your time will come. I had a college. I had a couple of college kids hit me up about the Avalanche that I'm selling, and you know they're just like, hey, you know I'm a college kid. I don't have a lot of money. Um, but you know if you could help me out in any way that you can um, you know please look out for me you know I know you're trying to sell this bike but that's like my grail bike I know the feeling like I know the feeling and for some of those I did drop the price a little bit for them and you know they still weren't able to come through with the money so it is what it is but you know for everyone out there you will your time will come you'll definitely get your bike and you'll upgrade but again, listen to the last three videos, the new to, Mike and, new to mountain biking series, the, the three series videos that I put out, and just take my advice on it. I'm not saying I'm a professional, I know everything, but I learned a lot in this past year, and I think my tips will help a lot of people who are new to this sport um, as I am. So again, I uh, appreciate all you guys for the support, for hanging with me, for checking out the, the channel. And I am gonna get into more topics and more things on my channel. It's not gonna be all about mountain biking. It's just my work, my job has been so busy. I haven't had time, but I'm going to get there. So anyway, appreciate you guys. I really do. See you in the next video. Take care. Be safe. Peace.